Hello Habari, Wendy Water here and right now I'm just chilling on a hammock out here at Sieku Glamping in Laikipia. So this place is really awesome, has a lot of like areas to chill in like the hammock I'm currently seated on. So what I'm going to do because I want you all to visit this place is I'm going to give you like a breakdown of what you need to visit. <laughs> If you want to consider when you're thinking about traveling anywhere is transport so this place is really accessible here's what we did I wanted to come here backpackers so I wanted it to be a chill you know affordable weekend away from Nairobi so what I did is I came here so I'm down here with my brother Steve we took him a tattoo coming to Nanyuki and then that was like 350 bob <laughs> which is like really super super affordable and then we got off at Nanyuki and from there Sieku organized a taxi for us from Nanyuki at 2500 Kenya shillings and then the taxi brought us all the way here so if that's still a pricier for you here's how you can do it you can take a metatu from the cbd at this place called tea room get a metatu coming to meru or risiolo and then get off at timau that's going to be about budget for about 500 maximum 600 kenya shillings and then from there you can take a border border all the way to sieko and obviously the roads are like possible so you can easily drive here as well for the yeah, what we're going to do is just explore the area. Ngarendare, we come to, it's crazy to me that I've never been there, is in this area as well. So we're definitely going to check that out. To put it simply, it's pretty much a lagoon with like melt water from Mount Kenya. So I'm guessing it's like super cold. It's cold AF. <laughs> I'm hoping we can go like cliff diving down there so let's go on with the breakdown of what you need to come down here now another thing that's usually a big expenditure when you travel is food now the beauty about Sieku is first of all I hope you've seen the kitchen uh, that kitchen is totally cool so I love the decor there the open plan the open plan nature of it the way they've set up the middle wooden table with all the plates and the colorful napkins African print that they have there uh, I just love that kitchen you know yeah so the beauty about this place is you can of course come with your food so you're then able to control your diet and control your meals and that helps you cut costs as well they also have a chef here so you can just buy your food and come and like get the chef to cook for you to totally cut costs so what we're doing is we have the chef Robert really awesome guy really awesome chef we just had lunch oh, lunch was incredible we had like chapati and there was like fried rice and there was a salad uh, kachumbari breakfast set up out here in front of Steve's tent just a little picnic oh, I love this it's like an English breakfast with some pancakes and fruit <laughs> We're 
taking bikes out to Garendare and it's two bikes. So I heard as well mm -hmm. that uh, Garendare area is now um, UNESCO World Heritage Site. Yeah, sure. Is that true? Yeah, it's uh, true. It's one of the World Heritage Sites. Yeah. On the Kenya and Garendare Forest. But it's like a elephant corridor. Oh An yeah. An elephant can come from northern Kenya, yeah. south Garendare Forest, and to Mount Kenya Forest. Yeah. Yeah, especially during the time of uh, a drought. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. Okay. Yeah, it says this is how blue the water usually yeah. is, but now it's brown because of the soil and the rain. Yeah, sure. Because So many steps to see where he is up there. Coming down was so easy. Ah. In a jungle with a tower. <laughs> I mean, huh? what's the point? We're out here chasing waterfalls, you know. We just left one. We're going to the next one. Sorry, TLC. We are chasing waterfalls. <laughs> so see this. We are at the cliff. Level one, level two, level three. Level four, Woo! level five behind that small tree. Or on top of that tree. <laughs> and always jump away from the cliff. Yeah. Away. One, two, three. Go! Was it? Death. Death. <laughs> but it's fun. Yeah. How deep is it? I don't know. Did you even touch the bottom? I didn't. Go! You're trembling, it's cold, eh? It's very cold. Uh -huh. First time being that, so I've learned some lessons that I need to share. <laughs> As a dude, <clears throat> if you want to do that, and you don't have anything protecting the southern office, <laughs> kindly just hold your balls <laughs> and try and cover your nose or something. <laughs> I don't even want to look down like oh. <laughs> This is scary oh my God. Uh, I think I was really scared when you were starting off but then you walk for a couple of meters and then it's okay you know I can even look down now like it's we're so high up how many meters is this Daniel 40 feet 40 feet up? Yeah, 40 Holy feet. Shit. On the ground, the bridge. <laughs> but like now, I'm so like used to it. I'm, I can like easily look down and just... So yeah, it's definitely like worth doing. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's keep going. I still can't walk faster. Yeah. Wow. Le gay. Eish. Huh? Kwani ni honeymoon na manini? Wow! What? Just check this place out, like with this view. This platform is about like 30, meet, 30 feet high, I think. Yeah, 40 feet, 40 feet. 40 feet high, I mean, come uh, on. Yeah. Ah, oh, this is incredible. 
And look at all those trees back there. Damn it! <laughs> this is reason enough to come to Sieko and to Ngarindare, you know? Yeah. I mean, this is, this is so special. Smiley faces. Mm -hmm. oh. Thanks, Robert. <laughs> this is a nice. Yeah, thank you. This is a nice chai. Chai. Mm. So, I'm going to go to the chai. 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 I'm the so yeah, put some sheepskin on down there and some cookies. Want to snuggle up? So dinner is served. We have some roast potatoes and the salad. Yes. And we have some chicken yeah. that I'm guessing you're about to carve right now. Yeah. Yep. Robert, <laughs> if she did that, I wouldn't forgive her. Man. <laughs> dinner is served. So. This is our final morning in Sieku. We're about to head off to Nairobi, probably around midday. But right now, I'm just having a cup of hot lemon water to wake up. And yeah, just going to have breakfast now, then head back to Nairobi. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'll be creating more videos every week. And yeah, hope you have a good day. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>